Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Christians Aren't Cheap, a beginner's guide to meditation. Well, I'm just out here puttering around in my garage this morning. And, uh, I just want to let you know that the basis of this show is Isaiah 40, verse 31. All those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And we've been doing stretching exercises. We've been doing exercising. And now I'm doing a little series on a little bit of reading and reading from the word. And again, I'm using this little quarterly booklet entitled Our Daily Bread. And today's reading is entitled Who You Are. In 2011, after a decade of childlessness, my wife and I chose to start afresh in a new country. Exciting as the move was, it required me leaving a broadcast career, which I missed. Feeling lost, I asked my friend Liam for advice. I don't know what my calling is anymore, I told Liam de dejectedly. You're not broadcasting here, he asked. I said I wasn't. Eh, and how's your marriage? Surprised at his change of topic, I told Liam that Mirren and I were doing well. We'd faced heartbreak together, but emerged closer through the ordeal. Commitment is the core of the gospel, he said, smiling. Oh, how the world needs to see committed marriages like yours. You may not realize the impact you're having already beyond what you do, simply by being who you are. When a difficult work situation left Timothy dejected, the Apostle Paul didn't give him career goals. Instead, he encouraged Timothy to live a godly life, setting an example through his speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. That comes from 1 Timothy chapter 4. He would best impact others by living faithfully. It's easy to value our lives based on our career success when what matters most is our character. I had forgotten that, but a word of truth, a gracious act, even a committed marriage can bring great change because through them, something of God's own goodness touches the world. And the thought for today, who has touched your life and what qualities did they have? How can you set an example of faithfulness today? And this morning's prayer, Dear God, help me to remember that the work I do isn't as important as the person I become. Please make me more like you. Amen? Amen. <laughs> See you tomorrow.